Hi, this is Richard Crab here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video, and in today's session, I would like to talk about personal development, and the topic is the missing secret to the secret. All right, sorry about that. Um, now again, the topic is the missing secret to the secret. All right. Now I'm sure most of you. Uh, have heard about the secret, right? Unless you are uh, hiding under the rock somewhere. So basically, uh, it is about the secret, right? Now, the secret was, uh, you know, uh, uh, started by Rhonda Byrne in the year 2006. That was many, many years ago. But when it came out, it was an overnight sensation, all right? It was an overnight success, and everybody was talking about the secret during that time. Now, do you realize that more than 200 million people view the secret? All right. But the sad truth is that not many people become successful. All right. It is not that the secret is not true or does not work. The thing is that there's few factors that doesn't, why it doesn't work for a lot of people. Okay. And also, Rhonda Byrne came out with a series of books, The Secrets and all other books that are quite similar, all about self-help. All right. Now, what is the secret all about? It is actually talking about one of the law, natural law, that is the law of attraction. Okay, The law of attraction is one of the universal laws. It is one of the universal laws. Okay, Now, it is also similar to the law of sowing and reaping. The law of sowing and reaping. What it says is that what you give out will come back to you. So that is what is sowing and reaping, whatever. Uh, you sow, you are going to reap. All right, that is what the law of attraction is about. And it is just like the law of cause and effect as well. All right, there's a cause, there is an effect as well. All right, so the law of attraction, which is in the secret, talk about uh, visualization. All right, talk about visualization. And what you do is that you you got to set your intention, what you want, you visualize it, and basically uh, it will manifest into your life. That is what the law of attraction is. But the truth is that over 200 million people view the movie during that time and not many people are successful. The truth is that people who are successful, they already have the mindset to be successful. All right, They already have the mindset to become successful. So here I want to talk about some of the reason why the secret did not work for a lot of people. All right. Now, the truth is that the law of attraction really works. It works. It's one of the universal law. And universal law, it will definitely work. Just like the law of gravity, you, know, you climb up to the 20-story building, you jump down, 100% you're going to hit the ground. Isn't it true? So the thing is that the law of attraction is also another uh, universal law which is precise and it will work. Okay. Now, this is only my opinion. So take it with a pinch of salt. All right. Why it did not work for most people? All right, let's have a look at it. Number one, people do not believe in it. A lot of people think that this is hockey pokey. They think that this is new age and so on. That's the reason why it does not work for people. If you do not believe in something, it is not going to work for you. So one of the reasons, the first reason is a lot of people do not believe that it is going to work. So if you don't believe, then it's not going to work for you. All right, so that's the first reason people do not believe. The second reason is because of the old programming that we have been brought up, all right? Now, through the years, we have been conditioned to fail. The truth is that we have been conditioned to fail. So we have been programmed, we are running like a program, automatically like a program that caused us to fail because there are a lot of uh, uh, bugs and viruses in our mind. A lot of bugs and viruses in our mind. And basically, you know, if you are talking about a computer, if there are a lot of viruses in a computer, all right, your computer is infected with viruses, you buy a good software, a program, and you install it. Will it work? Of course, it will not work. Because why? You first of all need to get rid of the virus in the computer. If you don't get rid of the virus in the computer, even though you put in a new software, a very, very good software, expensive software, it is not going to work. So the first thing is to get rid of the bugs and viruses in your mind as well. All right, because we have a lot of bugs and viruses in our mind to our old programming and upbringing and so on. That is why it will not work for us. That's the second reason, because we have been programmed to fail. Honest truth, you know, we have been programmed to fail. Number three, the 
the law of attraction states that, you know, you will manifest what you focus on. You will manifest what you focus on. The problem is that people focus most of the time on what they do not want. They probably spend only a few minutes a day to focus on what they really want. But apart from that, because it is already ingrained in the subconscious mind, and people are always focusing on their problems, the challenges, and when they complain, they're focusing on what they do not want. All right, so the focus is basically on what you do not want. That is why it does not work. All right, you 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 may be uh, you know uh, visualizing and visualizing, but if you focus on what you do not want, of course, what you do not want will manifest into your life because where attention goes, energy flows. All right, so your attention is what on what you do not want. That's the problem. All right, the law of attraction states that you know what you think about, you will bring about. So what do you think about most of the time? Most of us. We think about what we want only for a short period of time. But the rest of the day, we focus on all the things that we do not want. All right. So that is the reason why it did not work for some a lot of people. Okay. And number four, people talk about visualization. Visualization in the law of attraction. All right. In the secret. The problem is that you can visualize until the cows come home. If you do not take action, nothing is going to happen. Everything starts with taking action all right you can sit there and you know do all the visualization you want without taking action nothing is going to happen in your life so you got to take action action is very important all right you got to take action only when you take action you bring the right people into your life all right now let's say you know you are in network marketing and uh you want to manifest good prospect into your life Okay, into your team. You want to visualize having good prospect coming into your team. All right. So that is your focus. Now, the thing is that if you sit at home and do nothing, all right, there is no good person good coming into your life. What you need to do is do all the prospecting that is necessary. Take action. When you do the prospecting, whether it is on the internet, on social media, or offline, when you do the work, then there is a possibility of coming across somebody who's good. Okay, so taking action is necessary. You cannot sit around and do nothing and visualize and visualize and visualize. Nothing is going to happen. You got to take action. All right, so that's the fourth thing. A lot of people don't take action. Number 15, all right, number five. You see, when you visualize, a lot of people just visualize, all right, and with their mind, they think about what they want and so on. But without emotion, nothing is going to happen. All right, you may set an intention out, send an intention out to you, you know, that is the electrical charge that you send out. All right, but in order to manifest or pull it into your life, you need elevated emotion. All right, that means you must have emotion that goes into it as well. And the elevated emotions are very, very important. That is the, that is the magnetic pull. All right, just now you send an intention that's the electrical charge that you set up. Now you want to receive it. You got to have the magnetic pull, which is actually your elevated emotion. Emotions that is positive. It could be, you know, a gratitude, which is very important. Gratitude, thankfulness, happiness, excitement, joy. Okay, feeling unlimited, and so on. All right. So basically. Number five is basically you need to have elevated emotion. And one of it is gratitude. Okay. Number six, most of the people do not manifest because they are not in the present moment. All right. Their mind is everywhere, left, right, center, and so on. The thing is that if you want to manifest because the point of creation is not in the future or not in the past, it is in the present moment that's why we talk about the present moment the now is the point of creation it is the point of creation now i spoke about this a while ago that you know when you talk about newtonian physics most of us are living with newtonian physics when you look at time in terms of newtonian physics you have okay you have the past you have the present and you have the future all right it is linear so time is actually linear this way. 
All right. But when you talk about quantum physics, now you know, you got to put it vertical this way. That means there is no past, no present, no future. That is all in the now, in the present moment. That is what it is. Everything is created in the now, in the present moment. All right. So that is why the secret did not work for a lot of people. This is only my opinion, by the way. All right. Let me uh, summarize what I shared today. The missing secrets to the secret. The secret was created by Rhonda Byrne in the year 2006, many, many years ago. It was a huge success. But a lot of people watched the movie and also read her books. But not many people are successful. All right. Because why? They don't have the mindset to become successful. All right. And what is the secret? The secret is about the law of attraction. Okay. The law of attraction is also the law of sowing and reaping, uh, the law of cause and effect. Okay. Now, what they say is just visualize what you want. Now, I listed six reasons why it did not work for a lot of people. And this is only my opinion, by the way. All right. Number one, people do not believe. They think that it's a, it's a hope. It is not true. It's a scam. All right. Number two, because we have all programming within us. We have been conditioned to fail. All right. Number three, we focus on what we do not want. Most of the time, we focus on what we do not want. Okay. Number four, we don't take the necessary action. Like I said the other day, we do not take the productive and effective action. All right. We talk and talk and talk until the cows come home. Number five, ele elevated emotion is very, very important because that is the magnetic pull that pulls the thing into your life. All right. And you need to have elevated emotion like gratitude, joy, happiness, and so on. All right. And lastly, number six, we must put ourselves in the present moment. We, our mind cannot be left, right, and center in the past or in the future. It must be in the present moment. All right. So it is the point of creation, the present moment. Okay. That's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something here. Uh, by the way, if you like what you hear and see, please feel free to uh, like, to share, and to comment. I really appreciate your time uh, that you are spending with me here. And this is all my sharing. All right. I'll see you again on uh, Friday for another session of my live video. So this is Richard Quack coming to you, uh, saying goodbye to you. And I'll see you again on Friday. Bye-bye.